Hello, welcome to this MOOC on uh, principles of CDMA, MIMO, OFDM wireless communications. So today we are going to start look at looking at the bitter rate performance of a wireless communication system. Previously we have looked at the bitter rate performance of a wireline communication system which could be modeled as a simple AWGN uh, that is an additive white Gaussian noise channel. Now let us start looking at the bitter rate performance of a wireless communication system so that we can compare the performance of a wireline and wireless communication systems. So we are going to start looking at a bitter rate BR of a wireless communication. wireless communication system and as we said previously in a wireless communication system there is fading due to multipath nature of the uh, propagation of the signal in the wireless communication environment. So wireless communication system there is basically fading the signal is fading in nature because of the uh, multipath uh, propagation nature of the wireless channel and therefore the channel can be modeled as follows. Let us say I have a transmitted signal x and this signal is now transmitted over the wireless channel and as we know that this signal undergoes fading therefore it is multiplied by the fading channel coefficient h and now at the receiver as before there is the additive noise n and finally we have the received signal y. So the new aspect of this wireless communication system is this fading, fading nature of the channel which is modeled by the fading coefficient. This h is the fading coefficient. As usual we are assuming this n to be Gaussian noise or white Gaussian noise with 0 mean that is mean 0 and variance or basically power variance equal to sigma square. And therefore the channel or the model for this wireless communication system the model for this wireless system can be written as we have y that is the received symbol equals h x plus n where y is the so where y this is the received symbol x is my transmitted n is the noise and most importantly my h is the feeding coefficient. And also we said that h can be modeled as a e to the power of j phi where a is the magnitude or the amplitude of the fading coefficient and phi is the phase of the fading coefficient and we also said that a follows the relay density or the relay distribution right. This is the fading channel coefficient. So I have y equals h x plus n where h is the fading channel coefficient. Therefore now if I look at this signal model I have what do I have? I have y equals h x plus n. So this received signal s, so this signal x is multiplied by the transmitted signal x is multiplied by h and therefore I have the received signal power or received power equals magnitude of h square times the transmitted power because the signal is multiplied by the transmitted signal x is multiplied by the fading coefficient. I have the received signal power is equal to magnitude of h square times p, but h is equal to 
a e to the power of j phi, which means magnitude of h equals a and therefore, we have the received power equals a square times p right and therefore, the received SNR or the fading SNR which I am going to denote by SNR f this I am going to call as the fading the fading SNR SNR f is basically the received power a square p divided by the noise power sigma square which is a square p divided by sigma square, but p divided by sigma square is our definition of SNR. So, therefore, this is a square times SNR right. So, because of the fading nature of the wireless communication channel the fading SNR SNR f is a square times the SNR which is p the transmitter power p divided by the noise power sigma square, where a is the magnitude of the fading channel coefficient h. And now, what we had have is as you can as you remember from the bit rate expression derived for BPSK modulation from the bit rate from the bit rate derived for BPSK modulation. What do we have? We have bit rate is q of square root of SNR, but here the SNR is the fading SNR because the transmitted signal is multiplied by the fading coefficient h. Therefore, the bit rate is q of square root of the fading SNR SNR f which is also equal to q of square root of a square times s n r, where s n r equals p over sigma square. Therefore, what you can see is that this quantity under the square root, this depends on the magnitude of the fading coefficient, this depends on, depends on the fading coefficient h. this depends on the fading coefficient h and since the fading coefficient h is random in nature therefore this fading snr that is a square times snr is also random in nature hence the resultant bit rate q of square root of a square uh, times snr is also a random quantity because a which is random in nature hence therefore this entire quantity this is basically this is a this is a random quantity because of the random nature of the fading channel coefficient. This is a random quantity which arises because of the random nature of the fading channel coefficient right. And therefore, to find the average bit error rate in order to find the average bit error rate one has to average with respect to the distribution of the fading channel coefficient or the distribution of A to find average bit error rate. Therefore, to find average BR, we have to average with respect to the distribution of A. We have to average with to find the average beta rate we have to take this function because this function is a random quantity because it depends on the uh, the random channel amplitude that is a right. So, this is random in nature therefore, to find average bit error rate in this fading channel condition one has to average with respect to one has to average this expression with respect to this the distribution of the fading channel coefficient amplitude a and therefore, and we already know that the distribution of a that is the fading channel amplitude it follows the Rayleigh distribution you can look at the previous modules this is given as 2 a e to the power of minus a square. And therefore, the average bit error rate the average bit error rate is equal to 0 to infinity q of 
square root of S n A square times square root of S n R times F A of A d A. So, what I am doing? I am taking this random bitter rate, I am multiplying this with the distribution of the fading channel amplitude A and I am averaging it by integrating it from 0 to infinity. That will give me the average bitter rate, average with respect to the distribution of the fading channel amplitude that is A or in other words, this is equal to 0 to infinity Q of square root of A square S n R times substituting the expression for F A to A my e to the power of minus A square d A. And now, I am not going to evaluate this expression explicitly in this module, uh, because uh, evaluating this integral is slightly complicated. So, I am not going to evaluate it right now in this module, I am going to skip this derivation uh, at this point and I am going to give you the result directly. But for the more advanced viewer who is interested in knowing the complete derivation of this expression, you can look at subsequent module to get an So, for uh, a sort of a beginner who is probably not interested in all the details, all the, uh, the minor details involved in this derivation, you can simply follow the result and the result is given as half 1 minus square root of S n R divided by 2 plus S n R. So, the average bitter rate, the final result which I have not derived here thoroughly for which I have not given the complete derivation here, I will do this in the next module. So, the expression that is the expression for the average bitter rate, when I average this bitter rate over the distribution of the fading channel coefficient A is given as half 1 minus square root of S n R over 2 plus S n R. So, let me remind you this is the expression for average bitter rate of BPSK modulation in a fading wireless in a relay fading wireless channel. So, this is average bitter rate for BPSK modulation BPSK in in a relay faded or relay fading in a this is the average bitter rate for BPSK modulation in a relay fading channel. This is half times 1 minus square root of S n R by S n R over 2 plus S n R correct. This is the final expression that we derive. And let us do a few examples to understand this better. For instance, let us again do the example similar to what we have been done in the case of a simple wire line or a simple AWGN based communication channel. So, compute the bitter rate of a wireless communication system. So, we will we want to compute the bitter rate of a compute the bitter rate of a wireless communication system for S n R equals 20 dB. So, we want to compute the bitter rate that is the S n R dB S n R equals 20 dB, which means 10 log 10 of S n R equals 20 which implies that log 10 of S n R equals 2, which implies S n R equals 10 raised to 2 that is 100. So, if the dB S n R is 20, that means the actual S n R is 100. And now, my bitter rate I have to substitute in my formula for a wireless communication channel that is half 1 minus square root of S n R divided by 2 plus S n R, which is equal to half 1 minus square root of 100 
divided by 102, which is equal to 4.92 into 10 to the power of minus 3. So, the bitter rate in a wireless channel at 20 dB SNR is 4.92 into 10 to the power of minus 3. Right. So, the bit, so what we have done is we have computed the bitter rate in a wireless communication system with fading for BPSK transmission at an SNR of 20 dB and the answer is 4.92 times 10 to the power of minus 3. Now, let us calculate do another example, let us do another example to understand this better and we would like to compute SNR, the dB SNR required for a wireless communication system. for a wireless communication system for a bit error rate equals 10 to the power of minus 6. That is what is the SNR in dB in a wireless communication system required to achieve a bit error rate of 10 to the power of minus 6. So, this is the reverse problem we required to calculate previously we were given the SNR and asked to calculate the bit error rate. Now, we are given the bit error rate and asked to calculate the required SNR in dB. Therefore, we have 10 to the power of minus 6 equals half times 1 minus square root of SNR divided by 2 plus SNR, which basically implies that SNR divided by 2 plus SNR equals 1 minus 2 into 10 power minus 6 whole square, which implies that SNR equals twice 1 minus 2 into 10 power minus 6 whole square divided by 1 minus 1 minus 2 into 10 power minus 6 whole square equals which equals basically 4.99 into 10 to the power of 5 and SNR dB and the dB SNR equals 10 log 10 SNR which is equal to 10 log 10 SNR which is equal to 56.98 10 log 10 SNR, which is 56. So, what we calculated is that to achieve a bitter rate of 10 to the power of minus 6 in a wireless communication system, we need an SNR of 56.98 that is approximately 57 dB, approximately 57 dB. And if you remember from our previous discussion on the AWG that is a wire line communication system. Remember from our previous discussion that for 10 to the power of minus 6 bit rate in an AWGN channel, we require a bit uh, we require an SNR approximately 14.19 dB for an AWGN or a wireless channel. GN or wire line channel the corresponding SNR required to achieve BR equals 10 power minus 6 is is 14 point is 14.19 dB. For a fading wireless channel as we have just seen previously it is 57 dB. Therefore, approximately for a wireless channel how much more SNR do we need to achieve 10 to the power of minus 6 meter rate. Therefore, for a 
wireless channel the extra SNR in db is my 56.98 which is approximately 57 minus 14.19 which is 14 and that is equal to approximately that is equal to approximately 43 db. So, you can see this 43 db is the extra SNR that is required in a wireless channel for approximately 14 db is required in AWGN or wireline channel. So, over that on top of that additionally you require an SNR of around 43 db in a wireless channel to achieve the same bit rate. So, you require, so if the noise power is the same at the receiver you require 43 db more transmit power in the wireless channel to achieve the same bit rate of 10 power minus 6. So, there is a huge increase. So, there is a huge increase in required SNR to achieve same bit rate to achieve same bit rate. equal to 10 power minus 6 in in our so what we are saying is in a wireless channel to achieve a better rate of 10 power minus 6 we need 43 db more SNR approximately and if the noise power is remember SNR is ratio of signal power to noise power. Therefore, if the noise power is same in the both the systems it means transmit power has to increase by 43 dB. 43 dB if you convert it into a normal scale 43 dB is in log scale in normal scale it means 10 to the power of 4.3 times more power is required in a wireless communication. So, that is a huge amount of extra power that is required in a wireless communication system. The, so, it is it requires a huge increase in the SNR to achieve the same bit rate. And why is this the case? Let us examine why is this the case. Let us examine the reason for this and if you look at the bit error rate expression you have bit error rate equals bit error rate equals half times 1 minus square root of SNR divided by 2 plus SNR. I can also write this as half times 1 minus now I will bring the SNR into the denominator. So, I will write 1 by 1 plus 2 over SNR which is also equal to half 1 minus 1 plus 2 over SNR to the power of minus half. Now, I am going to use an approximation at high SNR at high SNR if SNR is large then 1 over SNR is a small quantity therefore, I can write this as half 1 minus 1 minus half times 2 over SNR which is equal to half times 1 minus 1 cancels which have half times 2 over SNR which is basically equal to 1 over 2 SNR. So, the bit error rate is decrease is proportional to 1 over SNR. So, in the wireless communication system the bit error rate is decreasing at 1 over SNR. So, if you look at the net result B R in wireless is proportional to 1 over 2 times SNR. However, if you remember the bit error rate in AWGN or the wired wireline communication system, this 
this is equal to approximately q of square root of S n r which you remember this is equal to half e raise to minus half S n r. Therefore, in a wire line communication system it is decreasing as exponentially with respect to S n r. So, if you look at the bitter rate in a wire line communication system, bitter rate in a wire line communication system is decreasing exponentially. bitter rate in a wireline communication system is decreasing exponentially with respect to S n r, while in a wireless system it is only decreasing as 1 over S n r. So, there is a huge gap in the bitter rate of a wireline communication system versus a wireless communication system. This is because in a wireline system while it is decreasing exponentially, in a wireless communication system it is only decreasing as 1 over S n r and that is the very important difference between the performance of wireline and wireless communication system. So, wireless communication systems have a very high better rate because of the sluggish decrease in the better rate versus S n r which is only decreasing as 1 over S n r and that is the result you see in order to achieve the same better rate in a wireless communication system you need a huge amount of extra transmit power that is at 10 to the power of minus 6 bitter rate for BPSK you need approximately 43 dB more transmitted power all right. So, let us do another simple example to understand this better. So, another example is now using our approximate formula using our approximation that we have recently developed using the formula. Using formula for approximate bitter rate in the wireless system, using the formula for approximate bitter rate, calculate SNR, again calculate SNR for bitter rate equals 10 power minus 6 in. in our in our wireless system. And for this purpose what do we have? We have 10 to the power of minus 6. Remember now we have to use the approximate formula which is approximate formula is if you look at it 1 over 2 S n r. So, that is equal to 1 over twice S n r which means S n r equals 1 over 2 times 10 to the power of minus 6 which is equal to 0.5 into 10 to the power 10 to the power of 6 this is equal to 0 0.5 into 10 to the power of 10 to the power of 6 and the SNR in dB SNR in dB equals 10 log 10 0.5 into 10 to the power of 6 which is equal to 56.5 which is equal to 56.98 that is approximately equal to 57 dB. So, this is the same answer that we get for the dB SNR that is uh, required to achieve a better rate of 10 to the power of minus 6 in a wireless communication system. So, therefore, we have two expressions for the better rate of a wireless communication system, better rate. So, in this module let us summarize the better rate of wireless better rate of a wireless system. The first formula is the exact formula the exact expression for the better rate equals half 1 minus square root of S n r divided by 2 plus S n r and then we also have an approximate expression. In the approximate expression the bitter rate is 1 over twice is S n r. We have bitter rate equals 1 over twice S n r. So, we have two expressions one is the exact expression that is bitter rate equals half 1 minus square root of S n r divided by 
2 plus SNR and the approximate expression is beta rate equals 1 over twice SNR and this is especially this approximate expression is valid at high SNR that is at high SNR. Remember we employed the assumption that 1 over SNR is a small quantity close to approximately equal to 0 or close to 0 to derive this approximation. So, this approximation 1 over 2 SNR that is a better rate for a wireless system is equal to 1 over twice SNR is valid at high SNR. So, these are the two expressions that we have derived for the better rate performance of a wireless communication system. So, we will end this module here and uh, take up other topics in subsequent modules. Thank you very much.